Forgotten or need to change your wireless name or password? We'll show you how to do this on your Spark HG531 modem. If you haven't changed your Wi-Fi settings on the modem before, you can easily find out what your default wireless name and password is by looking at the sticker on the back of the modem. Looking at the sticker on the back, we can see that the SSID is the default Wi-Fi name and the WLAN key is the default Wi-Fi password. If you can't connect to your Wi-Fi using this information but would like this to be your wireless name and password, then you can perform a factory reset on the modem to restore these default Wi-Fi settings. Now let's show you how you can check or change the Wi-Fi name and password. First, you'll need to log into the modem interface. We recommend connecting the supplied yellow Ethernet cable to your device and modem before following these steps. Open your preferred web browser. Click on the address bar and delete any text. Type in 192.168.1.254, then push enter. This will allow you to access the modem interface. You will now see a login box. To log into the modem, enter the username and password. The default username is admin and the default password is admin. Then press enter. Click on the skip button to proceed. If a pop-up box appears on the screen, click OK. Welcome to the modem interface. Click basic on the left hand side of the screen, then click on Wi-Fi below this. You can find out what your current Wi-Fi name is by looking at the SSID field. If you wish to change this to something easier for you to remember, then click on the SSID field and delete what's currently in the box. Then type in your new wireless name. If you wish to change your password to something easier for you to remember, click on the WPA pre-shared key field. Delete what's currently in the box, then type in your new password. For security reasons, this needs to be at least eight alphanumeric characters. If you've made any changes to the Wi-Fi name or password, Click on the Submit button to save these changes. Wait a minute or two for the modem to reboot. And we're done. If you changed your Wi-Fi name or password, you'll need to reconnect all your wireless devices to your new Wi-Fi. <laughs>